What's up guys, it's Hopefully215 here and today we're going to do something a little different. Normally, I get my hair cut by my best friend Ty, he's my barber, and usually when he cuts my hair we have these hilarious conversations, it's a pretty fun time, and I feel like I don't vlog enough for you guys, I don't let you guys really into like my personal life or what goes on with me, so I figured I'd bring you along for this episode of I guess we could call it Barber Time with Ty, and uh, see how it goes. Beautiful out here. Got that sunset going on. Hey, doggy. There's the man right there. Man of the hour. It's time to vlog. Got a chair. Everything. Hello Philly 215 here people. What's up guys? Hello Philly 215. <laughs> so how's Fallout been man? Because I, I have a couple people on my friends list that I've been seeing playing it and they've been playing it like forever. Yo. Alright, so Fallout is it's different from three and New Vegas. Completely different. There's so much to do in it that I've already have, I think like 25 hours on my save game, and I'm only on like the third quest. You know, they got all the haircuts and beard styles and shit. You could really make your dude look any way you want. It's cool. But what's up with uh, Kyle? How's Kyle? I um, seen that map that uh, they redid in Newtown. That one looks so cool. Yeah. Um. It's. It's good. I mean, there's there's a lot there for what you're paying. Because like normally when you buy like a sixty dollar game, you know, it's like usually you'll play it and then it's like it's over. You yeah, know, there's not much to it. But like this, the campaign is good if you're like a campaign person. It's there. Um, I'm not really a campaign person, but like online is is fun just because it's like Call of Duty. Like you turn it more into what you need it to be than what it is. I'm you know I'm, I'm a PC guy. I'm not, I don't have a console, so like, they have Call of Duty for, on Steam and all that, but I'm, I heard it's terrible it's on not, PC. It's not good on, it's not, there's no online game that's good on PC, because there's always someone that's catching headshots from all the way across the map using like console commands or some shit. Yeah. Are you got anything off the top or are you gonna leave the top? Uh, I'm just gonna leave the top, just the same thing. The dude I went to before, I don't like kind of like what he did with like... He just split your shit in. Yeah, I don't know what he did there, didn't but... really blend it. That's what happens when your barber breaks his arm. What about a uh, Halo 5? Have uh, you been playing that too? I traded it in. Oh god. Because the, the was reason it bad or did you just want to you know, just free up some space in your your game library? I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that it's bad, but the reason I got rid of it is because the the story's good at best. It leaves it. It completely sets up Halo like six, like completely, and yeah, so there's gonna be another one. Yeah, like it, it completely did that. And then when you go into the multiplayer, it's like it doesn't feel really too much like Halo. Like it feels like Halo because all the Halo elements are there, but there's something missing. That, there's something different about it. Yeah, and it's just kind of like it. It doesn't have How that. Feel about Fallout. Fallout is like it's the same. Like the graphics, like. Once you get used to them, they look the same. But like when I first seen the trailer for it, I was like, "What? Like, what is this? Like, yeah. what kind of? How did they make the graphics worse? But the graphics aren't really worse. Like the Fallout. I don't know what they did to that game to make it so much more different than all the other ones. But is it different in a good way? Yeah, but it's like you have to get used to it. It's like you're almost uncomfortable with how much new stuff is in the game. Yeah. But I'm running around with a 50 k like blowing people's heads off. And <laughs> the game like is it's endless. You could have the same gun the whole game and just keep putting like new little things on it, like the sights and scopes and all that. And yeah. it just always changes the experience. Now I heard that it there's areas in the game that if you're not a high enough level you'll just get murked going right in. Well now in the old in, in the other fallouts they never really gave you a warning with that. Now they have 
a skull next to a person's name. And I just got this cool new perk, too, that I have. Like, if I point my gun at someone, I can pacify them. Okay. And it's like, you point it at them, you press A, and they're just like, ah, and they start running from you. Yeah. But, like, if someone's a higher level than you, they have a skull next to their name. Mm. And it, it's basically just saying, like, this right. dude might fuck you up. Yeah. He might <laughs> tear you up. Right. I, I follow this guy that does a really funny thing. He, uh, he full-blown plays cop. Like, he does it all the time. It's called, like, uh, LCD PFR or something. Is it? Is he actually really, like, uh, is it a mod that makes him a cop, or does he just do it? No, yeah, the whole line. Like, he has the, all the mods that, that, that call in things. Like, he has a mod so that he can arrest people in GTA, and, like, yeah, yeah. And he'll get it coming mm -hmm. in, and it'll say this person's been drunk driving, or their license plate That's expired. Exactly, that might be the and, same thing I'm talking and, about. And the dude will be like, uh, turn four, we have uh, uh, one male in the car, and... Like it'll it'll say something like he's reaching for something in the car, and then like the dude will start running and he's like, uh, "Foot pursuit coming!" And dude, he's so accurate. Taser. He'll, he'll get taser the whole night. The taser. He'll be and he's so accurate that I think in the mod it says what street they're on, and he'll be like, "He's running northbound on." It's so realistic. Yeah, it's gets great. To go to the prison, like it, that. I it might be the same guy that we're talking about. We we could be talking about the or at least the same mod. Yeah. That's what blows my mind when you see uh, like a brand new game come out by like an indie developer and it's got like, you know, it's like so real, you know? Yeah. Like, like the graphics are so real, the voiceover sounds like like Morgan Freeman or something. It's, right. like, it's like, how did this dude that just made a game get all this, you know? It's you know, like these people are like agree to work with him. And... Yeah, it's, it's really amazing. I think it's I think it's weirder when the modders get people to work with them like that. How do you hit someone up and say, "Yeah, I'm I'm not making a video game. I'm turning someone else's video game into something better. So I need you to do a voiceover for me." Like, how do you hit someone? Right. Up it almost sounds like illegal, you know. Yeah, like like remixing someone's song. Right. And getting somebody to hop on the remix. Right. <laughs> oh man. So you're back cutting hair. Um, when? when... Full, fully back. When did you decide to make the decision? Did, did you just wake up one morning and you're like, my arm is good enough that I can do this? Nah, dude. Honestly, I'll come out here and like sweep up and shit. Like, just cause I, I miss it. This is like, oh man, like, like old want... man Jenkins, like yeah. looking at his old like ranch and shit. Dude, it's work, <laughs> but at the, at the same time, it's just like it's the same reason that you go on YouTube. It's just like you feel like there's people, there's people out there that re that require your service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and. People like that almost there's a lot of my people that felt like guilty when they had to go to a different barber for a little bit, but that's why yeah. I kinda got back into it. They're like, damn, I miss your cuts. Like, yeah. The show must go on, right? Right. And sadly that's what I did most of my time is play video games and watch YouTube, like while I was hurt. And actually that's something I could talk about. Far Cry five was a decent game. The, oh, you watched like somebody play it? No, I, no, I did. I played. Oh, what, you, you? I bought that when I broke my arm. It was, was good, like, right? It was decent. I, now, I, I enjoyed it. Like, now, now, my problem was is I played Far Cry three, and then I went into I guess four, and it it was like taking the game and putting it on drugs and putting a lot of everything more into it. But the the it was main still the same thing. To me. Yeah, but the the main villain didn't seem he was engaging. Corny. He, had, he was corny. The yeah. other guy was a real person. The guy from number three was a real person. That guy, like his face, that's a real actor. Yeah. And they gave him a mohawk and they're like, yeah, we're going to turn you into a video game character. So he's like, he had that weird voice and it was like really high pitch. And then. But you hated guy, him. Yeah, you yeah. hated him. And this guy, Pagan Min, in the new one. His name's Pagan Min. Like, what the, what the hell is Pagan Min? And I don't know. Like, I kill the, in the middle of the game. It's like go kill Pagan, so I kill him, and I'm like, yeah, I bet you that wasn't really it. Like, and he's just like, yeah, you just killed my double. Like, I expected that to happen. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. expected your double to come up. When you load up the save, it says twenty percent complete. Go kill main villain. Right. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I didn't just end. I didn't buy a game that ended at twenty percent. Right. But one one of the things that I did finish in that game was I unlocked all the signature weapons. Nice. I, it was my main point. I, when I, I did that for number three too. I just wanted to unlock all the weapons mm -hmm. because you know they're they're hidden for a reason. So you know what I love? I love. See, even though four the map is bigger, there's more animals, there's more things to do. 
it really destroyed the vibe that the the story wasn't what I wanted it to be. Like in three, That's in, four, in three, it was like the 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 evil villain really like affected me personally. You know, like I was like. Because it was around, like killing your friends and shit. Yeah, I was like going around the island like there's a scumbag out here and I gotta do something about it. Like, right, and this guy pegging, the guy pegging was just like, yeah, was, I can't wait till I catch this dude, he's a dork. And I'm like, smacking I, this guy. And, and I didn't finish the story so maybe it could have changed, but I got about halfway through it and I honestly felt like I didn't see him enough to hate him. Like I seen exactly. him. Exactly. Like I seen him and it was just kind of like, this is the guy you gotta hate. And I was like, why They though? just told you that. Like, yeah. Now, um, whatchamacallit, I was just about to say something for Fallout, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I just totally lost it, I had it and I lost it. You know, I actually, the other night was looking, I keep teasing myself, I was looking at Alienware laptops and shit, oh, and, and their prices, and I was just like, now, what is your opinion? Because I actually seen, like, I, I, I totally sold myself after watching all these Alienware videos and all this shit. I'm a builder. I, not, like, I'm not, like, I don't know everything about computers, but I would prefer to build mine. You know, I, have, I built mine. And just because of seeing the prices, I know you can build a, a better computer than an Alienware for half the price. Really? Yeah. Like, that's... Yeah, so, you know, that's, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to look into, like, who... Who could do that for me? Like, who could build it? Or I could just build it, I it, guess. It's like putting Legos together. But another thing is they create these computers and, like, sell them as production computers because they're stable. Like, you can expect the same thing from every single one. With building a computer, sometimes, like, there's, like, you never, like, computer builders have these things called test benches, usually, that they test each separate part out on, like, outside of a computer case before they put the whole computer together because... It's very common that you get a piece that doesn't work at all. Mm -hmm. Like a fan that just doesn't spin or a, a processor that just doesn't do anything. Like, very common. So what you're saying is, is maybe it would be a good decision for someone to build it for me? Yeah, like get, get some help. Like ask your friends on YouTube to talk to me about just about everything. You know, get, like, you know, like a second opinion with everything. Because something even that I say could be... So someone else out there could have a complete argument on why you wouldn't want to get that piece or whatever. Right. But I would like to do a small review on uh, the Xbox Elite controller. Yeah. Complete shit. Complete shit? At least for PC gamers because that John does not connect every time. Like if you plug it in, it'll be like do 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 do. Dude, and you have to like blow it, like, like on a Nintendo 64, you gotta blow out the cord and everything. What? It's crazy, it's annoying. I still use it, but, you know, because I just spent 200 fucking dollars on it. So, what you're saying is, is for, for what it was originally intended for, yes, but yeah, yeah. for all the extra things that they're trying to get it to do, no. Yeah, like the cord, basically if, I, if you wrap the cord up around a controller, you're not plugging it back in for another... Like, you're not going to get it to actually connect to the computer for another forever, like... <laughs> Estimated time forever. So well, that's what I like about Steam, is Steam reads your computer for you. Really? If, if you buy a game that won't play on your computer, it'll start downloading and it's just like, here's your money back, sorry, you won't be able to play this. What? Yeah, that's why I like it. And you have, I think, up to two hours of playing the game to return it. If you play the game for two hours, you could send a... Like a uh, like a complaint, and just they'll be like, "Why don't you like this game?" And they'll just be like, "Well, it's ass. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't like the game." So they'll be like, "All right, your money's been refunded." That's awesome. And it's that easy. But how have you still been playing the forest? I want to play that game. You make it sound yeah, so enjoyable, dude. The, the, they've been they they've been making it too realistic to the point where I built a whole fort, and then I put a, a torch next to it for some light. And a torch lights the fort on fire. And, down. <laughs> and then, like, all right, even worse. I put a torch eight feet away from my fort, so it doesn't catch it on fire after I spent three hours building it, because there's no console commands for that. Yeah. And uh, a bird flies into the torch, lights on fire, and lights my. <laughs> so it, there's no winning. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give up on that until they, you know, finish that up. I'm not telling I'm not telling people not to buy that though. 
he said a bird kamikaze into my torch and then just happened That's to, meet, exactly to happened. meet his end at where I was sleeping in the tent. And it, dude, it's like it literally didn't kill me or nothing. I just watched my floor burn down. And, <laughs> oh man! In, in you, one it second, was, it was like watching that thing. It was like watching the volleyball float away and uh, cast away. It was it was terrible, yo. And you spent all that time, and then you're just like, well, I could have went to bed early and woke up early for work. But you spent all that time sitting there trying to perfect a fort that a fucking flaming bird is gonna fly into. <laughs> So the Ron the Rousey video got up to like 770,000 views. I've not seen that. It's almost funny. The, the fight was funny. I can't believe she got slumped like that. It was crazy, dude. Holly Hume, yeah. She did exactly what she had to do. Well, she better fucking do some explaining about that fucking bird in her pants, yo. What do you mean? Holly Hume's got a dick, yo. What? Holly Hume's got a dick, dude. She's not a real, a, a real girl. What do you mean? There was a, a picture that came dude, out? Dude, like, look at the weigh-in, Joe. She's got a dick, dude. Damn, conspiracy theory at its best. Oh, dude, look, she's kind of built like a dude. She'll... She is a boxer. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, I just, I think that she's more uh, masculine than Ronda Rousey. I think Ronda Rousey's still a girl to a certain extent. That yeah. girl Holly Hume run through a bar and knock out nine. <laughs> right, right, right. Kicking them and shit. When she kicked her, she fell and I was like, all right, the bell's gonna ring. We're cool. Like, get Rhonda. And then she just, she Swap goes to get up and she's just like, what? What? And then just falls on her with a hammer fist. Yeah. And I'm just like, never mind. Never mind. Right. You see Joe Rogan in the crowd just like, like, he had no idea what to do. Like, right, right. Like, the fuck? Like, awesome. Dude, see, that was the first time, though, that Rhonda fought someone that was, at, like, as manly yeah. as her. That could really, like, had a chance. Yeah, yeah, She yeah. was bitching, too. She was, like, she was backing up, like, oh, man, like, that girl just hit me hard. Yeah. She was thinking, like, damn, my trainer didn't prepare me for all this. Right. She was, dude, she was winded after the first round. Because that, yeah, like, Holly Hunt can... Stand up. <laughs> yeah. She knows what the hell she's doing. Boxers go for like 10 rounds, bro. <laughs> she was ready for the long game. Back up and then just didn't even see it. It was just like getting That's hit. That's because Holly threw it as she was turning yeah. around. Which is really what did it. That girl's got an overhead though. Yeah. If you do that to me, yo, I might not wake up from that. <laughs> <laughs> I might not wake up from that. She got a, a head like Shrek. <laughs> Seriously, she can she could take a hit. That's a shin bone. Right. A conditioned, like, hitting a heavy bag shin bone. Right, like, the normal person would have been, like, on the hospice and shit. Right. Fucking... And she's getting out of the hospital and going to the airport with a pillow. She's got a head like Shrek. She does. She can eat a punch. She really... Both of them can, yeah, probably. Yeah. Cut that tongue out. Let's put a rooster on your head. Or on my head. Or whatever head is in the frame. Right, right. People are gonna see, like, I come in here, it was like, the sun was coming up, I come out, fucking dark. The sun, the sun was coming up, you come out, the sun was coming up. <laughs> People will be like, yo, what the fuck kind of barbershop did you just get your hair cut out? So when you broke your arm, it wasn't instantaneous, it was like it broke, and then you were kind of like, oh shit, I'm good! And then you like, no, I got you up. held I got your up. arm up and it's a you, and you're like, yeah, well, nah! It was an L. <laughs> I got up and I was like yelling at this lady that hit me, and I was like, you fucking bitch! You just fucking hit me! Like, you fucking bitch! Like, and there was this dude that like witnessed it, and he's like, yo, sit the fuck down. And I'm like, why? And I looked down and my arm is just fucking, like, I, I was trying to sit up, and my arm just gave out from under me. And I looked down and like, oh just, my god! It was just flopping. I was just like, no! Right out front of work, like I'm a barber. Like I break my arm out from a, a barber shop. It makes sense. Right. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. Ah. This doesn't even necessarily just have to be about it either. You know? If people really like this, they could be like, yeah, talk about fucking some other shit next time. Mm -hmm. That's like, what's up guys? This is O Philly 215. 
and Todd Dizzy Dollar Bands McGuigamus. Right, and I, photo I photoshop you with a bunch of gold chains and shit in the hood. <laughs> Yo, I was actually thinking, um, I was I was thinking that this summer I should go to PAX East and see if I could meet some more people. Like, what if I met like Markiplier? Cause I'm sure he'll be there. What if I met like Jack Septicai or something? That'd be fucking. I'd love to meet Jack Septicai. He's really a cool guy. What would you do if I uploaded a video and I met both of them? Well, both of them are my. I actually, as much as I fuck with PewDiePie, I like both of them. Like they're both. Well, I got PewDiePie under my belt now. Yeah, but you definitely, you definitely got him. You definitely need to meet Jack Septagon and Mark Plyer. They're like the main people, like after PewDiePie, and then mm -hmm. anyone a after Well, that. I think the next dude uh, that's up to par with them is also Vanoss, but I don't really watch him. I know, I, I know who that is, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vanoss game, Gaming or whatever? I think he's Asian. Really? I think so. Mark Plyer is. Yeah, I think he's half. He actually has uh, the Asian alcohol syndrome or whatever. He was talking about in the video where he can't drink or something. Yeah, I, th I actually think I heard about that. It's, like, crazy. it's like Korean or something, I don't know. You can't drink alcohol without taking like medicine. Crazy. You know there's actually a really cool built-in, I don't know if it was on purpose or not, there's an actual kind of like a slender Easter egg in Call of Duty. Really? It, on Nuketown, if you shoot the arms off of every mannequin in two minutes, it does this crazy zombie Easter egg. Like, alright, let me explain it. If you shoot the head off of every mannequin within two minutes, they turn into zombies. All the really? mannequins, and they chase you. Are they, do they it, run? Yeah, they run it's and everything. Terrifying. It's terrifying. But the cool thing is, is it's like a glitch. If you, um, if you shoot the arms off instead of the heads, they don't chase you, but when you turn around, they do. So when you turn around, you hear little mannequin feet. Oh my god! Right, it's crazy! Ah, you're god, this, you're gonna, look, look, if you're the mannequin, you're looking at them, they're just still like this. Like as if they're running at you, you turn around and you hear... So, and, and you turn around and they're right in your face. And you're like, bro, you need to calm down. So, wait, so say you're looking the other way. And what the hell just happened to your teeth, bro? All right, so say, <laughs> say you're looking the other way. If someone's next to you looking at you, can they see the mannequin running at you? I think it... Or is it just whenever I, eyes I, are on it? I think it's whenever eyes are on it, they don't move. But that's what's good. And the creepy thing is, it's not like Slender, where it, like it'll slowly kill you. Like, if you just stay turned it'll around. It'll murk you? Yeah, it, like, you'll turn around and you'll hear... BAM! And it'll smack you and your whole screen will just go red. And you'll be like, oh shit! It smacks the shit out smacks of you. Smacks the shit out of you. It's so <laughs> creepy. It's worse, than, it's worse than the normal zombie ones. The normal zombie one, they're just on you, period. And you know they're zombies, like, like yeah. these are mannequins. Like. Yeah, yeah. Intervals of, I uploaded, it's like an hour long. I'm like, time to get your popcorn, guys. <laughs> Dude, people might like it. We're giving it a try, we're giving it a try. We're gonna give this a, a test. You get zero views on this and 20,000 dislikes. Or 37,000 dislikes, then we just know never to do it again. <laughs> we know to kill ourselves tonight. Right. The boulevard's right down the street. <laughs> oh my god. I'll, we... set up, I'll set up a pillow in the middle of that joint. <laughs> we already went too far. Don't, don't take that too seriously. <laughs> Dedication yeah. five. I remember when you got sick of it and you cut all your hair off. You're just like, dude, it's too long. Yeah. I can't keep up with it. But now, it looks good, though. Yeah, that's because I keep keep keeping up with it. Keep know? keeping, keep <laughs> keeping, keep up. <laughs> keep it, keep, keep, how you keeping? You getting your brawls done? The brawls? What the fuck is that? <laughs> the brows. Oh, the brows done. Yeah. Uh, what do you yeah. mean? Do I normally do your brows or not? No, but can no. you, is that possible? You're gonna get all these comments like, yeah, shave that fucking beard off, dude. To both of us. You look like a fucking dickhead. Yeah, yeah, right. The boy with the tattoos looks like an idiot. Yeah, everyone that sees this video needs to fucking subscribe and uh, keep watching these drones because we're gonna keep coming out. Even if you don't like them, we're gonna keep coming out with them. There's always games coming out, and we got a YouTube channel, so we're gonna keep making videos. <laughs> you pretty much said go fuck yourself, but keep watching us because. Well, my dad. Oh, okay. Blow my fucking dad. Nah, I cut that out, dude. That'll just... Nah, don't cut that out. Nah, I cut that out, fuck it. <laughs> <Can't feel that. laughs> I'm gonna edit it so it'll be in, and then it'll cut out, and then you'll be like, it'll keep coming back in. <laughs> They're gonna be like, wait, what was he trying to cut out? <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do.
do, 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 do. Do I look like Money McFinnigan? You look like Johnny Bucket Sandals. You know what's crazy, and I just realized this, is when I got my hair cut by that other barber, when I went into work, nobody said a word to me. No. Nope. you having a nice cut? Yeah, nobody said anything, but I bet you anything I'm going to go in tomorrow, and then at least one old lady's going to be like, that really is a nice haircut. That's a nifty haircut you got there, kiddo. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> when she said that to me, I'm gonna be like, I don't even know. I don't even know how to respond to that. Like, you better swim on that old lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. When we were doing that Mike Myers, man, that that game type is so funny because we just we just turned it into this hilarious thing. Like, That's like what people used to do. Like people using glitches and shit. You know, you can't get into that glitch. You're just like, well, no, no, no. It's not even that we did that. It was like. We would sit there and we'd be like, if you see Mike Myers, do a secret like a code word. And we'd be like, all right, what's the code word? And he'd be like, Coco. So you just got the whole lobby like sitting there and it but and one after another you hear Coco, Coco, and it would be like everybody doing it and then they would just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitches tonight, bro. You are fucking bitches tonight, bro. Dude, I, sent, I snapchatted my girlfriend a picture of my balls earlier. She got so fucking mad. Well, I like, dude, it's just balls. Relax. So. She was like, that's really ballsy of you to do, you know? Right. Snapchat your girlfriend a picture of your balls. That's today's message. So here we got Philly with the part in the hair. Wow, look how sharp that shit is. Baka! Baka! Jackie Champ. Baka! Baka! Dumb fresh. You look like an idiot. <laughs> See, it would have been cool if I scared you. That could have been something funny to add in the video. You should have faked it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Wasn't real enough. <laughs> My own words. Let's see how it turned out here. There we go. Autofocus. Ah, uh, the shirt. That's a teaser. Alright guys, just got done getting my hair cut. The link to get your hair cut by my barber Ty is going to be in the description. You'll be able to, you know, check out his social media page to get in contact with him through that way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I managed to compile it all into something really funny. And let me know if you want to see more of this because I really enjoyed doing it. I'm, you know, once again hoping that it all turned out pretty well. But if you want to see more, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, it's OO Philly215. Peace! Hey.